Now, let's take a look outside. Uh, well, I think today's gonna be a good day for cornrow hunting. So I'm here doing a little cornrow hunting on a Thursday. It's really rainy outside. It looks like this place is gonna flood. But uh, just going through a penny box, this is like my fourth penny box, and I just pulled something out that I think you guys are gonna think is pretty sweet. So here's where I'm at with the box. I'm like two thirds of the way through. Got a couple of couple of good things here. I got uh, a few wheat pennies and then a really shiny old uh, Canadian one there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just a bunch of Canadians and random stuff. But uh, it's going through this roll and I, I already put the camera on it there. I got some copper and uh, just set the zinc aside and then I saw this, man. That is really freaking cool, guys. First Indian head penny and it's a 1900. It's pretty slick, but uh, man, that is awesome. I didn't think this box was going to be that good. It really it wasn't showing much, just a few wheat pennies and uh, a couple other random things. But I uh, guess that slipped in there somehow, so that's pretty cool. So here's a, here's a little better view of it here. 1900. Man, that's actually the oldest coin that I found coin roll hunting. I know some of you guys saw the video where I uh, found a bunch of old nickels, and I actually didn't find one this old. The oldest one, I think, was uh, 1905, so... Yeah, that's really, really cool. Well guys, it looks like I did it again. And I don't have much to say about this one. You're just gonna have to take a look. Check this out. What is that? So that's the front of a penny. You see that big line across it there? You can see the date there. Just barely showing through, 1976. You got that big line there. And then take a look at the backside. Perfectly fine. So I'm going to have to look this up. This might be a rare error or something. Uh, you know, seeing that line there makes me think, you know, maybe this was uh, like, that looks like a die crack. But then, you know, the whole front is just wiped out. And you can see the date there. It is a 1976. So I'll have to look that one up. Let's just go through the rest of the stuff that I found here. I got uh, a couple of shiny uh, old 1968, 68, and 72. Thought I'd just pull those aside. I got a couple of 2009s. I only keep the shiny ones now because uh, they're really not that hard to find. Just some random stuff up here. I guess I got some uh, S mint coins there. Just some interesting little pieces. Guys, this is the pile of Canadians. I get so many Canadians up here in Michigan. And um, it's good and bad. Uh, good because, check this out. Uh, usually I get a King George in in the box, but this time I just got a couple uh, couple of older ones here. So this one's a uh, I don't know what they call these Queen Elizabeth uh, first issue. I'm not really sure, but this must have been one of the first years that they made them because 1953. Man, I know I found a 1951 King George. So, uh, but that's pretty cool. Got those older Canadians there uh, up here. I think we got uh, seven wheats, yeah, so 56, 58, 57, 48, or uh, 45, and the 48's there, and a couple of 44Ds, so nothing too special. Um, one of the really cool finds here, if, you, if we can find it here, uh, this is 1957 uh, Canadian penny here. It's just in perfect condition, man, that is really nice looking, shiny. Probably going to put that in a 2x2. Uh, two two. And then I think this may actually be the best find, maybe even over the uh, Indian head penny, wherever that went. All right. So I looked this up, guys. What this is, is it's a capped die uh, penny. If you take a look at the back side, it's perfectly fine. It just looks normal. But if you look here, it looks like completely slick, like you can barely make the outline of Lincoln's head there. And if I uh, turn it in the light the right way, just the right way, you can actually see the date on there. See that? It says 1976. And I looked up this area. It could be worth 30 or $40. So that was really, really neat to find. I thought it was just someone just took some like a power, some kind of power tool and just grinded it down on the front there. but. Turns out it's actually a pretty uh, desirable error. So that's really neat. Um, got that 1976, and then you can see there, 
there's a there's a line that goes across it. So this might be more than just a cap die. It might be uh, might be a little more desirable having that line going across it. I'm not really sure what that is, but it is raised. It's not uh, it's not like a trench. It's more of a uh, hill of a line there. So yeah, that's it for the hunt, guys. We got uh, I got three coins, and I'm gonna be putting in the two by twos here. Really, really neat hunt. I'm gonna go back and thank my uh, teller for giving me this box. Of course, she didn't know what was in it, but I'm gonna let her know that uh, I appreciate them giving me boxes of pennies whenever I want and uh, getting me some of the good stuff. So guys, real quick before I end the video, I just wanna ask you guys, how many boxes did it take you to get an Indian head penny? And if you haven't found an Indian head penny yet, let me know down in the comments what is your best find so far. Just so you guys know, it took me four boxes to get an Indian head penny, and that I know is really good. I'm really fortunate to, to have that, and I was just psyched to find it. Overall, really great box. Not too great on the wheats, but that doesn't matter. You, you know, you're in it for the really unique finds, and uh, they definitely pulled through for me this time. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really love all your support on the channel, especially on the coin roll hunting videos. My audience there is just great. Um, you guys are really active and I really enjoy interacting with you guys and answering all your comments and questions and stuff like that. So again, guys, I wanna know how many boxes it took you to get an Indian head penny. And if you haven't found one, let me know what your best find yet was in the pennies. I know a lot of people hunt pennies. They're a really popular thing to hunt. And I think they're really a lot of fun too because you're always finding wheats and you're always finding like, I mean, I get a ton of Canadians and sometimes I get some interesting Canadians. Guys, again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Ryan and this is 3.9 Hunt, signing.